addition to the performances, another thing that's so uh, a strong element in the film is just the you know the location, and you know the visual style of it in the kind of really dry, dusty part of Texas. And I feel like your camera it's very intimate with the performances. Uh, did you how quickly did you come up with your visual style? Was that as you were writing the script? Once you actually got to location? Um, well, I I think it was probably while I was writing the script. You know. Um, I think that when I write, I think a lot very visually, and, and I, I wanted it to be handheld, or I wanted it to be um, a controlled handheld. I didn't want it to be crazy. So I wanted the idea is that you know you never know what's going to happen. So the, the camera should be loose, but yet it should still be grounded in this world. And um, I like the two three five aspect ratio, especially for close-ups and, and when you're when you're dealing with landscapes and things like that, because it, it gives you just a wider perspective of, of the world. But ultimately, the, the, the goal was to, you know, with the script and with the camera work, was to follow this one character throughout his journey. And and what I try to do is, as the film gets further and further down the line, the camera work gets closer and closer in on him. So his world gets clo closed, uh, what do I want to say, more and more closed down. Um, and we also try to do that with the lighting so that things become more and more dark um, in very subtle ways. So, but that was something that I had an idea about it when, when I was writing, but really my, my DP and I, Gavin Kelly, we, we sat down and talked about it a lot. And, and, and he was so great at, at translating my ideas and, and making sure that you know, he was able to execute them, but also adding a whole new layer to the idea and, 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 and making it richer and richer with the camera work and the lighting. And so it was really a dance between the actors, Gavin and I, constantly just moving. And what I wanted to do in each location, and we were able to achieve it in some locations, was to really have the lighting set up so that it was, all the lights were set and we could move anywhere we wanted. So I, I tried not to restrict the actors as much as possible because I wanted them to be free and not think of, oh, my mark is right here, or, you know, I have to hit this spot or whatever. Um, you know, we wanted to just be like a fly on the wall.